hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class and so we are having chemistry and of course on this episode of chemistry we are going to be looking at the general gas equation general gas equation it is by far the simplest what uh gas law that you will what encounter all right so uh basically before we begin know that this video tutorial is brought to you by the o3 school jump app the app that you need to succeed in your jump examination as for the past question recent and old right you can practice there's an exam mode there's a practice mode there's a study mode there's a mock mode and what practice at will and there's a utma challenge where you can compete to win prizes weekly all right then uh, when you take when you partake in the challenge right you see your scores and then of course when you see your score you will know what your weak areas and you know how to what improve them by what practicing more all right so please do not play with that app it has been displayed on your screen right now the o 3 school jump app go to play store download it activate it on your phone and of course you will see that what you are on it all right so the general gas equation Right, so if we make, if I've been following our episode in the previous episode, we talk about the ideal gas equation, right? So from the ideal gas equation, we know that what the PV is equals to what nRT. All right, simple as ABC. This is the ideal gas equation. So now, if we make the gas constant, the ideal gas constant, the subject of the word of this equation. Right. If I if I don't change your subject from from line mathematics, right, this will be easy peasy for you. All right. So if you have not uh, done that before, you have not encountered or you have you have never been taught change your subject formula. There's a video on that on jam mathematics on this channel. So please look for it and watch it. All right. So if I'm making R the ideal gas constant, the word the subject of this equation, right, we we'll have that word R is equal to what P V over what over nt all right so now what does this mean this means that what that pv the ratio of what pv over what over nt will be constant at any time t right so the the, the ratio of pv over nt that is constant at a particular time t will always be constant at and at any other time why because what arrow is what is a constant so long arrow remains a constant pv over nt will remain what a constant now since the gas constant is indeed what constant at any time then we have what a new expression expression because of what now we have p1 v1 all about what n1 c1 is because of what p2 v2 all about what n2 t2 right very simple as abc right so now having this and of course what about if the amount of what gas right number of moles is the same for example if n1 goes to what goes to n2 that means what they will cancel out this will cancel out what with this so what will now be left because of what now p1 v1 over t1 is goes to what p2 v2 over t2 all right please if you have not liked this video click on the like button just below this video if you have not subscribed to this channel click on the subscribe button so that once we release a new video you'll be notified and do not forget to share this video to your friends and class group all right so now we now have what this this is the ideal sorry this is the general gas equation and this is what we aid us in solving questions that has to do with the general what gas equation so if i want to go back i would like to tell you that what that the I, the general gas equation is gotten from what from the ideal what sorry from the ideal gas equation rather when we make what the um uh, proportionality constant or what the ideal gas constant are the subject of what of the equation and because this is a constant we have a new expression that what p1 over v1 all uh, p1 v1 all over n1 t1 is equal to p2 v2 all over n2 t2 so that what if the amount of gas right the number of moles is the same if n1 is equal to n2 then of course this will cancel out we cancel out and this will be what will be left p1 v1 over t1 is equal to p2 v2 over t2 and this is the general gas equation all right so now we're going to we'll take a question and see how we apply this formula in solving problem all right so this part will be very fast i'll fasten this part so that what 
uh, will just want to get on to it. This question was sourced, of course, from the OTD School Jam app. So that's why you need to uh, download your app immediately. You do not need to think twice. Download the app, have it on your phone, and what, and join us in this exercise. So I want to fasten this part now. All right, so you're yeah, welcome back. Now, we are giving a question on the board that 300 centimeter cube of a gas X exerted a pressure of 700 millimeter mercury at 33 degrees Celsius. And so what volume will the gas occupy at 350 millimeter mercury and 70 degrees Celsius, right? So of course, uh, we have our solution. And of course, you already know that this is a general gas equation problem, right? So we're having what V1 to be what 300 centimeter cube then we're having p1 to be 700 millimeter mercury all right then we are giving t1 to be what 273 plus 33 that should give you 306 kelvin all right then of course we are giving uh uh what is p2 p2 to be 350 millimeter mercury and then of course we are giving what t2 to be equal to 70 plus 273 that is this now so if you add i'm going to have what now 343 kelvin so we know our formula general classification p1 v1 over t1 is equal to what p2 v2 over what over t2 all right so if you apply that formula now we're looking for what volume what volume will the gas occupy at this we're looking for v2 so v2 now will be equal to what now uh p1 v1 that is this times this p1 v1 t2 all over what now you divide by what is left here p2 t1 so if you do this what is p1 700 times what is v1 300 times what is t2 t2 is 343 and of course what is uh, uh p2 p2 is what 350 what is t1 T1 is 306. So if you do this now, press your calculator. Please let me press my. If I press my, I'm having the value of 672.55 centimeter cube. So this will be your what your value. Alright, so it's as simple as ABC. You say 300 centimeter cube of a gas X. This is this makes this what our V1, the first volume, right? Then uh, is that the pressure of what 700 millimeter mercury this makes it our what our first pressure p1 now at this temperature this makes it our t1 all right you see that our formula is is coming to play right then of course what volume with the gas now looking for v2 v2 is not known what volume of the gas will the gas occupy at 350 millimeter mercury which, which is what p2 and 70 degrees celsius which is what t2 all right so it's as simple as abc so what we're looking for is v2 so just make v2 the subject of the formula here and then what and then plug in your values and that is all now let's look at the second part the second part is kind of what tricky and if you do not know standard pressure you don't know standard or temperature you will fail the question wholeheartedly with your full chest right so you must know i've told you in previous episode what standard pressure is what standard temperature is right even what room temperature is all right so even what body temperature is in kevin so you must know all those things all those stuffs at, at on your head all right so now let's continue the second one say what volume will the gas occupy at stp now our v1 is still 300 centimeter cube right our p1 is still what 700 millimeter mercury right our t1 t1 is still what 306 kelvin all right now what we don't know they say what vol what volume will the gas occupy at standard temperature and pressure right that means that what our standard temperature and our standard pressure will help us to want to to get the answer to this what question right so now what will now be our our v2 is what we're looking for we do not know but what will now be our what our p2 our p2 will be what what is what standard pressure is what 760 millimeter mercury you must know this that is what standard pressure 760 millimeter mercury and what about our t2 our t2 what standard temperature which is what 273 kelvin all right it's as simple as a b c okay so okay kelvin all right so now what do you do you plug in your formula i'm still looking for v2 
so that your V2 will be equal to what? 7, uh, 700 P1 V1 300 343. Now, what we change here is what? Our P2, which is 760 millimeter mercury. Then, so our T1, okay, sorry, uh, here T2, T2 is what? 273. All right, and our T1 is what? Where's our T1? T1 is 306. All right, so if you do this calculation, I'm going to have, let me press my calculator here, pressing my, I'm going to have 246.52 centimeter cube. Simple as A, B, C. So now, please, you need to have the knowledge of your standard temperature and your standard pressure to be able to solve the second part of the question. All right, so in, in an exam condition, you see 602.55 comma 246.52 right we see b so so and so so and so c so and so 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 and so so if you do not know what this p2 and what and your t2 you already will fail the question so it's very important i'm pleading with you please we'll go back to the our previous episode where we talked about what all these units and their conversion know them on your head and what be ready for your exam so general gas equation is very very simple very very easy the formula is even about the easiest right so p1 v1 over t1 is equal to p2 v2 over what over t2 simple as abc right so please do not forget to like the video do not forget to share do not forget to what to subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next episode thanks for watching